All right, folks, so I have content that is both food for the soul, but it's also going to simultaneously crush your soul as well, because what you're going to see is perhaps the most based protest of Kirsten Cinema yet, where protesters showed up to a wedding that she was officiating, and they're going to protest it, and that part is really, really cool. Her response, however, towards the end might send you into another doomer spiral. So you've been warned. Uh, nonetheless, take a look at what is an incredible protest. I know you do. Could you just go down to that water for an hour? And really, how about this? My daughter's wedding. Just for an hour. Just let her get married, please. It's, okay. it's, this person is not my daughter. My daughter's getting married. Tell, will you tell her that? Did, did you yes. invite Senator? Is Senator really I don't here? know. You can tell her that we don't like what she's really doing to our country. I know, but how did you invite this woman? You know what? It's my daughter's wedding. So please, please, please just go down to the corner for one hour. Please. It's my daughter's wedding. Shame. Just one hour. Shame. Could you shame? Please. Shame. 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 We can walk quietly with our signs. It's my daughter. I know. I know. Okay. Please. Yeah. Okay. Be quiet. We'll they have a right to protest. Stop talking to them. Don't let her go back in and play with her millionaires. I mean, I fought for your fucking right to protest. Woo! Thank you. So you go back inside. Say your millionaire buddies. Come on now, our future's at stake. Everything's on the line. And you're letting this woman get away with it. I'm tired of this shit! Stop taking corporate money! Total corruption of our government! Total sellout! Totally unacceptable! Totally unacceptable for you to support it! Yeah, keep laughing! Keep laughing! I'm an Ivy League educated white old man! And I'm being destroyed by this economy! And that corruption stems from corporate power! And cinema is taking corporate money! to destroy us all, and climate will do it without her. So wake up! Woo! Woo! Why don't you get married to Donald Trump? Yeah! Okay, everything about that was incredible. These protesters are absolutely just amazing. I really respect them for doing this. But at the end, when they got footage of her inside the wedding, when she noticed them, she spotted the camera, and she was taunting the protesters, looking at the camera as she was singing. That right there, it just, it made me lose so much more hope because it's clear that even if these direct action oriented efforts to influence her are important, they're not working. And she's kind of throwing that in your face that there's nothing you can do. I don't care. Protest me. Protest me everywhere I go. It doesn't matter. Not going to change my opinion eat shit peasants it it's just you know what do you do in that point what do you do electoralism is this slow process and she might not even want to run for re-election so you can't have the satisfaction of beating her in, the, in a primary directly protesting her isn't having an impact so people i mean they see this and they want to check out of the system and honestly if, if it were 
taking place virtually, if that wedding were occurring in, say, Roblox, I don't think that those protesters would have been out of line to just straight up fling dog shit over the fence and try to hit Kirsten Cinema with it. Of course, in a video game, not in real life. I would never condone that or endorse that. But if this were taking place in Roblox, I think just throwing shit at these elites, that would have been the best course of action. I mean, what do you do? What else do you do? We're, we're suffering. We lost. We get nothing that we want. So at least we can get the satisfaction of making sure that we irritate these elitist pricks as much as we want. And the bride here who approached these protesters, if she were a reasonable person and wasn't an elitist prick, she would try to level with the protesters. She would say, look, I understand how this looks. There's a bunch of people getting married and we have this senator who's blocking things that would save lives in America. I get the way that this looks. Here's what I'll do. If you stop protesting, I'll ask her to leave. We'll find a different officiant. I mean, she could have done that, but what does she do? She condescendingly walks up to these people and she says, uh, hi, thanks for winning uh, my, my wedding. I really appreciate it. She also says, I wish I could enjoy my wedding without you ruining it. So someone like this, someone who is getting Kirsten Cinema to officiate their wedding, I don't know much about this bride. She's not the person who I'm angry with here, but I just have to assume that if you want someone like Kirsten Cinema or really any politician to officiate your, your wedding, you're just the shitty person in general and you kind of deserve your wedding to be ruined. Now the mom walked out and was begging and pleading with the protesters, so clearly it was affecting them. And, you know, rather than asking Kirsten Cinema to leave because you could just find a new fucking efficient, well, they actually complied. They listened. They said, you know, we'll, uh, we'll shut up. And afterwards, after the protesters were respectful enough to be quiet as the ceremony proceeded, what do they do later? They're dancing and acting all high and mighty and condescendingly, you know, just taunting the protesters. It's just... It's despicable. And the people who are conversing with the mother, they ask some really important questions. Why would you invite this woman? She's ruining our whole country. Kick her out. Kick her the fuck out. Why would you want Kirsten Cinema here? I mean, this is an elitist wedding. It's a circle jerk with powerful people, I'm assuming. You have a senator there to officiate the wedding. It's just everything about this. It really is discouraging. And I'm going to make you even more doomer because Fox News picked up on the story. And of course, they portrayed these protesters negatively. They clutched their pearls that protesters would dare to ruin this wedding. And Fox News then linked to the video. So if you go to the video and you see this on YouTube, well, Fox News viewers ratioed these protesters who did a public service, but yet they were ratioed. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to that video's page. I will link to it down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And I want you to out-ratio Fox News's audience and give these protesters a like, at least the person who uploaded this footage, because what they did was a public service. And I feel bad that they had to turn off the comments because they got bombarded by Fox News boomers who were clutching their pearls at these protesters who dared to protest a, win a wedding where this elitist prick is the efficient. But look, here's the thing. It may not be working, right? These protests where people go up to Kirsten Cinema and they confront her in public, it may not be working. It's not going to get her to change her opinion. Having said that, though, it's still really important because at a minimum, you know that it's inconvenient. At a minimum, you know, even if she's not letting it on, it's getting under her skin. So if these politicians aren't going to listen to you, regardless of what you do, the best thing you can do is take satisfaction knowing that you're irritating them. That's honestly sad. It's a pretty uh, grim takeaway. This is bleak shit, I know. But still, Kirsten Cinema, with what she's been doing, to the extent to which she's sold out, she should never be able to show her disgustingly pathetic face in public again. Everywhere she goes, she should be protested. Nobody should want her to officiate their wedding. Nobody should want her to be around because they know that that's going to come with protesters. Every single time Kirsten Cinema leaves her house, she should expect protesters. And it might not face her. She might become desensitized to it don't care. So long as we can at least minorly inconvenience her, I think it's the bare minimum that we can do to make these elites pay. If they're not going to listen to us, then at least give them hell. They don't listen. Oh, well, at least we're making their lives 
a little bit miserable. Not as miserable as they're making our lives, but at least it's it's something, right? So fuck Kirsten Cinema, fuck this wedding, uh, fuck these elites, fuck the mom who was crying, fuck the bride, fuck the groom, fuck all of these people. I hate all of these people. This is a shitty country with shitty politicians who are ruining our lives. I mean, don't clutch your pearls at the wedding. Clutch your pearls at the people who are suffering because of corporate sellouts like Kirsten Cinema.